Heretofore Hyundai has been absent from the blossoming Mini Ute segment, so the all-new 2018 Kona crossover is a much-needed addition to the lineup. The brand's push to revamp and expand its entire range of utility vehicles by 2020 will see the B-segment Kona square off against the likes of the Mazda CX-3, the Jeep Renegade, and the 10 best-winning Kia Soul, among others. This first Hyundai built upon a new platform expected to underpin a number of future models not to mention the upcoming Kia Stonic crossover the Kona is a funky looking ute geared toward the customers with active and urban lifestyles that so many brands target with their marketing. Its expressive design is highlighted by chunky body cladding around the wheel wells that spills into the front and rear bumpers and breaks up the lighting elements into separate modules. The stacked, Jeep Cherokee, like LED running lights and headlamps, along with various other body addenda and the semi-floating roof, available in body color or in all black, lended an odd and somewhat fussy appearance at first glance, especially in photos. But it looks distinctive and more cohesive in person. Expect a similar lighting arrangement and the cascading grille treatment to grace the faces of other upcoming Hyundai SUVs, even though the company says its future designs will emphasize individualistic styling as opposed to a homogeneous look across its lineup. The new chassis, more than half of which is made from Hyundai's own high-strength steel, employs a strut suspension in front while the rear suspension depends on configuration, a torsion beam axle serves front DRI bear whereas a multi-link arrangement does the duty in all-wheel drive models. The standard U.S. spec Kona power plant will be an Atkinson Cycle 2.0 liter inline 4 making 147 horsepower and 132 lb-ft of torque, mated to a conventional 6-speed automatic transmission. The optional powertrain will be Hyundai's turbocharged 1.6-liter inline 4 producing a stout 175 horses and 195 lb-ft and paired with a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic. Other global markets will see choices Americans won't be offered, including a turbocharged 1.0-liter 3-cylinder and a 1.6-liter turbodiesel 4. All-wheel drive will be an option with either engine, which are essentially the same as the ones we get in the recently updated Hyundai Tucson. But at 164.0 inches in length, the Kona is about a foot shorter than that vehicle, so it should be notably lighter and wieldier. Standard wheel diameters start at 16 inches, with both 17s and 18s available on higher trim levels. Citing its clipped overhangs and adjustable driving modes, normal, sport, and echo, that alter throttle and transmission programming and vary the torque distribution in AWD models, Hyundai says the Kona has a planted, responsive character in tight city driving. The styling inside is less polarizing than the exterior yet still quite attractive, with a notable Subaru Crosstrek, like vibe. The Kona is slightly smaller than the sub -I, however. Build quality feels substantial, the ergonomics and control layout are smartly done, and attractive design details, such as body-colored accents around the shifter and vents, add a touch of spice to fancier versions. The leather-trimmed examples we saw also sported contrast stitching and piping on the seats, as well as color-matched seat belts. Lesser variants sported cloth upholstery with attractive black and white houndstooth seat inserts. While our time examining the Kona was brief, overall comfort felt in line with other small, entry-class SUVs. An overall width of 70.9 inches and a height of 61.0 inches make the Kona comparable with most other mini SUVs. Its 102.4-inch wheelbase, however, is just 2.7 inches shorter than the Tucson's, which allows a rather spacious cabin. Hyundai took care to package the rear suspension, exhaust, and other components so as not to intrude on the interior, resulting in a relatively airy cocoon and a decent 19 cubic feet of cargo volume behind the rear seat. It may not be the capacious box that is the Kia Soul, but the Kona shames the Mazda CX-3 in usable space. Sales of the Korea-built Kona will commence in early 2018, and the trucklet will be offered in SE, Cell, Limited, and Ultimate trim levels. A 7.0-inch, tablet-like touchscreen will be standard and an 8.0-inch unit is to be offered on higher trims, while a full suite of active safety tech including lane-keeping assist, forward collision warning, blind spot monitoring, and automatic high beam control will be offered. Hyundai will even make available tech less common in the B segment, including a full-color head-up display, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay compatibility, 
Qi wireless phone charging, 4G Wi-Fi connectivity, and rain-sensing windshield wipers. Beyond the Kona's funky paint colors are several contrasting color roof options, as well as a trio of bold interior color schemes, including one with lime green trim. Dot pricing is not yet available, but Hyundai says that the Kona should offer a better value than many of its competitors, which generally start in the $19,000 ballpark and range into the upper $20,000s. Hyundai also says that it is working on a fully electric version with a targeted range of at least 242 miles. The company says that version should appear for the 2019 model year but stops short of confirming it for U.S. sale. The chances of that happening seem good, however, as do those that the standard model will grab a fair share of one of Auditum's most hotly contested segments.